I'm Tass Mellis of The Starters. This is Ben Golliver with the Open Floor Podcast. Hi, I'm Kristen Ludlow from NBA Inside Stuff. I'm OG Ananobi of the Toronto Raptors. Hey, I'm Elena Donon, and welcome to the Double Clutch. Double Clutch. Double Clutch. Double Clutch. Double Clutch Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome to the Double Clutch Podcast with me, Hugh Hopkins. This week, we have an interesting guest for you. Uh, he's from the Canton Charge. Nate Rankin has been with the G League franchise since 2013 and he took over as head coach two seasons ago. Nate has also represented Great Britain at the London 2012 Olympics. Uh, Nate got the call to lead Britain through the recent round of pre-qualification games for Eurobasket 2021. So far, he is undefeated as a national team head coach, and I got the opportunity to discuss this and how his G League job has helped him sort of pull this British side together quickly after um, Britain beat Kosovo by 22 points in Manchester last week. You've only been thrown into this team a month ago, something like that. Um, So what have you been saying to them the past month to be able to go from the first game where it was uh, pretty close and then the second game you you know you were struggling for the first three quarters and then blew them out in the final quarter and then this game where it was from the get-go yeah like, um from day one like i said we've just been preaching to get better each day and uh, we've seen a great progression from then and, and game to game this one was an opportunity that sat in front of us to qualify through this group so there was no you know, we don't want to wait to get to Luxembourg. So it was all focus on the start, and these guys really came out mentally focused, and they were locked in in practice this week. So uh, it was all on them. They were mentally ready for this one. What potential do you think this British team has on, like, a World Cup stage? I mean, I know we're aiming for Eurobasket at the moment, but how far can can this team go, do you think? (laughs) That's a tough question. We have no idea. Um, Really... It's just this window is one game at a time, and that's how we're going to take the next window. And it's just going to be little steps um, and just, you know, try and build this, you know, and keep building game by game. If we look down the road that far, we kind of lose focus on really establishing, you know, a rock of a foundation on what we're trying to do at the, in this moment. So, you know, it's a program that, you never know what can happen. Um, so if you build it with the right people and find the right talent, you know, that's down the road. We'll figure that out. So looking slightly further down the road, maybe not that far, but slightly further down the road, I mean, I think this win does secure the top of this this pre-qualification group. That means that we've got qualifier in a few months' time uh, against some of the best teams in the world. It's not going to be an easy group. Um, I know you've, you're pro- personally, you're probably going to be focused on Luxembourg in just a few days, but um, what about further down the road? I mean, uh, I don't necessarily want to want you to go too far into your personal situation, but of course you're going to be um, presumably going back uh, and working with Canton yes. um, in a few months' time. Uh, so have you had any thought about uh, the, the next stage of uh, Eurobasket qualification? No. I'm living in the moment, and this was the window that I got chosen for. Uh, that's really all that I've been focused on. Um, and moving forward, who knows um, what will happen. So, yeah, I'm going to just enjoy this one and, and figure out the next step. So given the group of guys that you've just sort of been thrown into and said, OK, go win some games, you know, I guess you're sort of used to that with your role on the Canton Charge. What do you do from a coaching standpoint in terms of, do you have much of uh, an offense or defensive system? Uh, is it is it just, you know, do the basics well? What, what as a coach, what is your mindset going into into these types of games and with new players that are coming in all the time? Yeah, I mean, I knew quite a few of these guys from of the course. past. So, um, you know, I leaned on Alberto and, and Joe Prunty, the previous coaches, and, yeah. you know, asked their advice. And then, you know, I throw my own spin on it and I threw a lot at these guys from day one and they picked it up quickly. So offensive philosophy, defensive philosophy, you know, these guys are pros. So they were able to pick it up quick. And again, we just kept getting better with it. And then, uh, you know, we just ran with it. Um, 
like I said, these guys are, they're hungry to get to that next level. And this was just a, you know, a stepping stone. Looking to your professional job then with the with the Canton Charge a little bit, how have you been enjoying that process working with the NBA G League affiliate? Yeah, next season I'm in Canton and that's what I'm focused on. I love my job. Um, you know, Cleveland's home. That's where I'm from. I love it. And, uh, you know, my I just feel like my purpose in this game is try and get players to the level they want to be. Um, so I just look at it, you know, I got guys coming in coming out but as long as they're there I'm going to work with them as hard as I can to try and reach whatever dream they have I'm going to try and establish um, some trust with them as fast as I can and then and then help them on their 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 journey in this game so if it is a development uh, league obviously and you've just said your role is to get players as ready as they can do you personally have sights on championships each year within the G League it's a di- I mean, you always do as a as a coach. Um, that's the ideal situation. But you know, the G League is a different animal. There's no other league like it in the in the world. So um, it's you know, there's quite a few angles to the job. And, and yeah, championship would be great. Um, mostly, you're trying to you know whatever the the top club needs. Cleveland, that's that's the main focus. Um, whatever they need, that's what we're there to be for. And then besides that, like I said, it's it's an individual type thing. You know, you're working with guys to make them better, and hopefully as you make them better, you know, the team gets better. And for listeners and fans of the NBA, could you explain uh, what the relationship is like between the uh, main NBA franchise and, and the G League affiliate? You know, what Do they tell you what they're looking for? Where, you know, of course, you have two-way contracts these days, so sometimes, you know, Cleveland might send someone down to you and say, work on this with this player. Is, is that the sort of idea the, of, of your role, do you think? It is. Like I said, we're there to support whatever Cleveland wants. Um, so the, the organization is fantastic. So they involve Canton as much as possible. You know, we go through training camp, we learn what Cleveland's going to run. And we try and implement the same sort of philosophies in Canton just because of that reason that you spoke of is guys going up and down and, and preparing them when they, when they get that call to, to go up there. So it's, it's really fun, you know, to be around Cleveland and watch them operate. And then we try and establish the same sort of culture down in Canton. And to tie it back to the GB team, then I, I sort of asked about the potential of these players earlier. But do you see many of them getting opportunities in in the G League in the future? It's everybody's journey is different. Everybody's different. Um, so I can't answer that. I mean, there's guys, young guys in the states at colleges. Um, you know, the few guys have gotten looks in the NBA, and uh, yeah, that everyone's journey is different. So. Like I said, I'm hoping and dreaming whatever they're, you know, they're trying to get to. They establish that and they make it. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Do you see yourself as having that dream as well of, of coaching in the NBA? I mean, yes. I mean, that's what we do it for, especially in the, uh, over there. You're trying to make it to that top level and, and, you know, work with elite players every day. If it doesn't happen, you know, it, it doesn't happen. Um, I'm very content. I'm happy with my job, and you know that's something I can't control. So I'm gonna just do as well as I can on what I'm given to do, and then see where the future lies. Good. Well, best of luck, and yeah, enjoy next week, and hopefully we'll see you uh, in. I think it's February for the qualifiers. Yeah. All right. Best of luck, coach. All right. Thanks. Thank you. That is everything for this week. A big thanks to Nate Rankin uh, for taking the time to discuss coaching the G League's Canton Charge and also the British national team. Um, If you like what you've heard, then be sure to let us know by adding a rating on your favourite podcast player or get in touch. Um, We're on all the social media channels at Double Clutch UK. Uh, And remember, if you're heading over to buy some uh, new jerseys or, uh, or any sort of NBA merchandise, Uh, Make sure you use the code nbastore.eu. Use the code DCPOD15. That's DCPOD15. But for now, peace.